Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my best striker class setup in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 60 likes. I'd highly appreciate it and it helps out this channel a bunch. Over on the handgun, I'm going to be using the TYR, the stem for the tactical, frag grenades for the lethal, munitions box for the field upgrade. And I also like to switch this with trophy systems if I am losing in the game. Scavenger gloves if I do not have the munitions box. Running sneakers for a longer tax sprint. And it reduces uh, refresh time. EOD padding for the gear. And over on the stock, I'm going to be using the Lockman MK2 light stock for movement speed and sprint speed. This just boosts um, your movement. And I like running around with some machine guns. So this is like perfect for me. Over on the rear grip, we're going to be using the Seiken ZX grip for gun kick control, firing aim stability and recoil control over on the ammunition we're going to be using the 0.45 auto over pressured for no enemy skulls and target flinch i think this is really good to use because the striker is pretty bad i, I would say at medium range it, it does get really bad but this helps out because it gives your enemy a flinch over on the underbarrel we're going to be using the xrk edge bw4 hand stop for aim walking speed movement speed aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed this is just overall for your movement speed that you need whenever you're using submachine guns. Over on the barrel, we're going to be using the Striker Recon Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range, aiming out of sway. This just helps you uh, like be able to compete at kind of medium range. As you can see, the effective damage range is at 11.4, but there really is no way to get that up anymore unless you use maybe, I would say, the, the uh, high grain rounds. But even then, I think it, it's still at 13. So, I mean, it really just depends on what you want. You can go with either or. But for me, I will be using the auto overpressured. That is going to do it for this class setup. If you guys end up trying this class setup out and you like it, let me know down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you do, let me know with a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you like this video, consider subscribing, and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me, and I also have a Discord, so if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. Alright, today we're going to be using the Striker. Um, I actually want to ask y'all, like, do y'all like the the clips in the beginning of the videos like i might keep doing that i'm not too sure and it really just depends on how y'all y'all like them so personally i like using them because it gives y'all like a little like preview of what we're gonna be using and then i have a hard point game to kind of like fully show what we're using they're not even really clips, they're just like individual kills. Like of me using the gun. So y'all can see that like it does kill pretty good. Or it does work. I guess the class setup. But we're we are over on Rust. Um pretty freaking chaotic right now wow i just got throwing knife and people also like you gotta realize that some of these class setups are not like for everybody like they work for me but they may not work for you you know what i mean I didn't even see that guy right there though. That was actually crazy. This is a pretty chaotic map. I just got a new subscriber. Nice. If you're new to my channel and you're enjoying what you see so far, please hit that subscribe button. I, I want to get to 10K before the end of this COD. Like that is my goal this year. I'm actually frying right now. Is 
this guy gonna jump down? Yep. Got him. Wow, and he spawns and kills me. What is that guy doing? I'm gonna cut him off. Where'd he go? I've I'm I just got juked out. We do need to try to win, so I need to get a, a V tool. There we go. They're probably gonna shoot it down, but it's okay. I'm putting bullets into every single one of them. It's just not enough damage range. I really need to try to win this game, but I feel like I can get a nuke if I play it right. I am on a 15. I mean, I'm cutting it pretty close if I do try to go for this. I just don't see, I don't see us winning this game without it. All right, we're doing pretty good. <clears throat> wow. wow that guy he wants to kill me i'm gonna move though so scared i know i can get this One in twenty four. Twenty five. I don't have that much ammo. Are these guys leaving? Like, no, that kid is one shot. Slow that over there. 
All right, we need one more. Oh my God, what a, what a shot out of me. My God. Wow, that was that was really close. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call that in. Wow. I'm surprised I got that. This is a really good class setup to be honest. If I got a nuke on Russ, you got to use this. Fifty-eight kills, though. GG's.